everyone. I, uh, what am I going to, just do a quick little video over about uh, powder that can help with your hairline a little bit, at least I've been finding it's helping, and also a powder that can help give you some volume. So, so for helping with the hairline, I got a couple of new MAC shades uh, last week. Uh, there's Coquette, there's a little bit darker than the one that I used last time when I was, uh, what was it? Alia, I think in my Alia video. Um, so this one's Coquette, which is a little bit darker than that, um, the one I used in Alia, and I can't remember what it's called, and this is Cement. And um, so I've already put a fair bit on that, plus using some tanning powder just to tone down the glare of my pasty skin just helps to sort of have less contrast against between my hair and my skin, which is what seems to show off the thinnest. But now that I'm sitting here, I can see it's a little more see-through than I'd like in there. So I'm going to try with the lighter one first. And I love this brush. It's sort of, if you can tell, it's a little bit damp. I was just uh, cleaning it off. But it's sort of rounded, and so you don't get any harsh edges. But this one, or it's easier to soften the edges anyway. So just going in there a little bit. I'm going to try the darker one, this cement. And it's not like you want it to be solid, just to tone it down a notch. Anyway, I've already got some in there, so I'm sorry I it was just getting ready to go out and I did it for the most part and then I thought, well, maybe I'll, sh I'll do a little video on it. So I've been finding that using the shadow helps not only with softening the edge of my um, posh wig where it's the mono top, but it does not have a lace front, so it's got that sort of line. Still has the line, but it definitely makes a difference to just soften up just by getting some shadow at the edge, not going overboard, just being really soft and just blending. Um, what else? I don't know. I'm not a makeup guru. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm just trying to present something that you could try and maybe it'll help you. I I like it. So so now, because I'm trying to wear my own hair on the weekends, I'm trying to give my, my hair a break from wigs and see if I can grow it out. I'm also taking biotin. And actually, as of tomorrow, I'm starting a 28-day challenge of like clean eating and really reducing sugars and whatnot. Um, I have a feeling... Sugar probably doesn't help me with uh, my hair loss. Might be wrong, I don't know. Uh, sugar's not the greatest thing to have in your diet anyway. So we'll see if I can last 28 days. Maybe I'll last a week, maybe I'll last three days, I don't know. But it's um, it's through Arbonne, A-R-B-O-N-N-E. And uh, so far there's uh, meal replacement shakes that I really love. So that part's not gonna be a problem. The rest of it is just, um, buying organic whenever possible. Certain things you're okay if you don't buy organic, but I guess other things, um, the pesticides and whatever, they're problematic. So I was out, did my grocery shopping for the week and uh, it's a bit pricey to eat like that, but if it works, it's worthwhile. Anyway, back to hair. Um, and that's sort of about hair, it's about overall health, right? Um, I bought this a little while ago. A couple of years ago, this has got to be powderful, and it's a volumizing styling powder. And um, I, when I saw it on the shelf a few weeks ago, and I just opened it this morning, it reminded me of something that when I was in a wedding party, I was a matron of honor, and uh, and the hairdresser put this stuff in my hair, like it was my own hair for the wedding party, and it just gave it oomph and it lasted really well. I mean, it was sort of a drizzly day and and it was pretty amazing. So when I saw this, I figured it's got to be the same thing. And I think it is. Um, I put some in the front here. There's no hairspray there, but it's like that kind of stays when I do that. And it's got, I don't know, it's a bit of a, maybe a bit of a sticky or cornstarchy and stick, I don't know how to describe the texture, but I did it wrong. I, I just sort of sprinkled it into my hair the way that my hairdresser did a couple of years ago. And then, then I read the instructions and it says to just put a small amount into your hands and rub them together and then sort of 
get at the roots in your hair. So, I don't know what the back of my head looks like right now. This could be bad. And I don't know if this will... Oh, I need some powder back there. Whatever. So, I thought I will try. God, this is already five minutes. Okay, I'm going to try to be fast. So, let's do... I don't know. That's a little bit, right? Doesn't feel like that would be enough to do anything. Do a bit more. I don't know, I kind of... <laughs> I don't know that that's going to do much of anything. Well, it made it kind of messy. Let's see what happens if I do this. Sort of pull my hair back. I can't. It would probably be better if I actually had some curl already in it. You could tell more. I really just flow dried it straight. It gives it texture, that's for sure. You can feel the texture in it. <laughs> it just looks messy. Oh well. Anyway, it's in here, and I don't have any other product in there. My hair would definitely not do this on its own. It would just it would just fall flat. So it gives it some texture. You can give your hair some lift and look like a mess. God. And, well, good enough. Alright, so there's a couple of products. There's the MAC eyeshadow that I like, matte, matte MAC, no glitter in that, and then the Got To Be powder, which is worth playing with, I think. I can't remember how much it cost, um, but uh, yeah, if you want to get a little extra volume on top, again, I don't have any hairspray or any other product in there, and it's, uh, it's a weird texture. You should get it just to... Someone else can tell me what that would be described as. I don't know how to describe it, but anyway, that's that. Yeah, I got nothing else. <laughs> Bye, have a good weekend.